So sometimes when I don't have any other ideas, I will start by picking up an instrument that I don't normally start with, hoping that it'll, you know, jumpstart some ideas, get the juices flowing, but also maybe knock me out of any typical patterns. That's, you know, that's the hope. This is As It Happens, a show about songwriting in real time. I'm Jonathan Mann. I've been writing a song a day since January 1st of 2009. There are infinite ways to approach writing a song, and you never know how it's going to turn out. This could be the best song I've ever written, or literally the worst piece of garbage you've ever heard. (laughs) Let's uh, find out. I'm going to start off with my bass. Got this off of a guy in Berkeley. Nine years ago now or something, I got this bass. It has a plastic body. The body is made out of plastic. And I don't know if this is true, but the guy who I bought it from basically told me that the body comes from the 40s during World War II. All of the wood was being used, obviously, for the war effort. And so they started producing these plastic guitars. He said they were like rare or something and he found one on eBay and he bought this plastic guitar body and then he like reinforced it, put a bass neck on it and made this really unique 40s bodied bass guitar, which of course, when I moved cross country from Berkeley to New York, I broke, (laughs) which is like so typical of me. So there's a big hole in the bottom of the bass, which is like, I'm sorry, bass. I feel bad. All right. Sometimes I can't quite sing along to the rhythm that I've created. Playing this lick on the bass for some reason, I can't quite sing over it. So I'm going to record that. I'm going to add some effects to it. Some of these built-in logic effects that are in here under bass. Okay, I'm going to add like a little beat over it. That's interesting. Energy is finite. It cannot be created or destroyed. Okay, something along those lines. Maybe it's like it goes back and forth kind of a thing between these two bits where I sing two lines and then there's something that's like I think I'm gonna abandon this whole idea and and just find something else to do. I've just deleted it. Delete, delete, go away. You fall in my, from my field of vision I've made a decision. It should be like fast. It should be like like from my field of vision. I've made a decision. I will not hold back anymore. Mercury's in retrograde, and I believe that I have made myself. As clear as I can be Energy cannot be created or destroyed I've, I abandoned that other idea and I'm just sort of I think I'm gonna write the oh, pretty much the entire song and only then am I gonna start actually recording it Matter is energy That's the entire point So that's like a verse, a little pre-chorus, a tiny chorus, and then this little thing, the the verse is the part that goes, from a field of vision, that, that, that's that whole part. And then this part, the Mercury's in retrograde part, Mercury's in retrograde, is the pre-chorus and then the chorus is, 
energy cannot be created or destroyed. And then, like, the post chorus part is like, I don't know what the song is about yet. I keep seeing people on Twitter talking about how Mercury's in retrograde. I never know exactly what that means. Like, electronics are supposed to work or something? I don't know. People are talking about that. That's sort of in my brain. Someone said to me yesterday this idea that energy can't be created or destroyed, only transformed. All the energy in the universe is all the energy that was always in the universe from the beginning of the universe. Sometimes I just write lyrics that that sound good (laughs) to me, that have like just a nice rhythm to them and a nice sound. And the sentiment is clear, but also kind of vague because it could be about anything. In the verse, I have this thing going on. The rhyme scheme is A, A, B, C, C, B. From my field of vision, I've made a decision. I will not hold back anymore. That's A, A, B. Though the moon is crescent, I will remain present down every avenue you want to explore. That's C, C, B. And the other thing is that the first two lines, the A, A, and the C, C, are words with more than one syllable that rhyme. Vision, decision, crescent, present. So I'm gonna try to continue that in the second verse. And sometimes it's easier for me where I don't really have any idea what the song is about. Writing words, stream of conscious. And sometimes it's harder. It's easier in the sense that literally I can just write anything. It's harder because if you don't have any specific ideas to hold on to, you're, you're sort of like lacking that constraint that a good idea can bring with it. But anyway, it's all songwriting and it's all different. And it's good to be able to do both, probably. Um. You are more than a body. But you really got me. Okay, here's the second verse. You are more than a body. When the waters are choppy, I want you to know I'm here. Life is full of hard stuff. But you are made of star stuff. A conscious moment in billions of years. So here I'm thinking about like the word body is popping out at me because I've been having this trouble with my son at bedtime. He's been, he's five and he's been giving us a really hard time at bedtime. And he has this new argument that he's been using on us, which is um, you're controlling my body. And I don't know exactly where he got that. We haven't exactly talked to him about sort of bodily autonomy, although we definitely should and and have talked about talking about it. But if I don't let him play Mario or something, he gets really upset and says, you're controlling my body. And, I'm, and he's not wrong, you know? Anyway, so that word body just sort of is in my brain. And maybe also like, you know, he's definitely going through something, having all these feelings, and I want him to know that I'm here for him. And then this is something that I was thinking about when I'm having a hard time, which is just like, just how small we are. Blah, blah, blah. (laughs) How beautiful the universe is, etc. Okay. I still can't see the stars at night for all the... I still can't see the stars at night for all the yellow city lights around. We're staying with my um, my parents out in Connecticut. And uh, even though they live in a kind of rural deal, still can't see the stars that well at night. Anyway, okay. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Matter is energy, that's the entire point. That line, that's the entire point, doesn't sit totally well with me. What if I just changed it to matters energy fixed in a single point? So let's see, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and record this. if we can find a drummer that would fit. I'm gonna go straight for uh, Zach in his little photos wearing a hat. Zach's spirited, explosive style is influenced by stripped down, no nonsense rock. He plays driving beats on a raw sounding kit. I feel like this song is a stripped down rock song that needs a raw kit. So how are we gonna start the drums? Okay, that's nice. Because this is such a straightforward rock song, I'm going to straightforwardly play some rock guitar on it. So my instinct is to keep it pretty minimal. Add the 
this like uh, add a octave thing going on. super minimal like that. I think something totally different is going to happen there. Um, yeah. Maybe I'm going to do some angelic oohs and ahs there. Maybe that's what this is calling for. So I think we're going to start with oohs and then it'll go into ahs. I don't hate that. I kind of like it. I kind of like the, the feeling that it gives me. I do have this feeling that the chorus might need one other element. With those oohs and ahs, I might have made the pre-chorus somehow feel a little bit bigger than the chorus. So I may have to add something else to the chorus. But let's see, Let me. I'm gonna record the main vocals. From my field of vision. Okay, so I sort of made a decision in the midst of recording those vocals. I was going to this place in the chorus where I was sort of going up. Energy. Cannot be. And I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't like that. I think I don't think I think that's the wrong thing to do somehow. The main thing is that I've been hearing songs that I've been doing lately where I do that, where I sort of go up in the chorus, and I've been left a little bit cold. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. I have this idea of like a sort of counterpoint melody. That's what the harmony would be. be so I think it needs, it basically needs, oh, it needs a title. I'm going to call it energy cannot be created or destroyed. I hope I haven't called a song that before. Wait a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm looking on my spreadsheet and I'm doing a word search for energy. Let's see if, uh oh, I've already written a song with that title. <laughs> song number 3,328. February 10th, 2018, Energy Can't Be Created or Destroyed. Oh, I know this song. It's really weird, and nobody knows where you go when you die. Energy can't be created or destroyed. Damn you, brain, for always thinking about the same things. Can't call it that, that's fine. Let's call it you're more than a body. Okay. I think this song is done. Thanks again for sticking around with me. And uh, let's give the full song a listen. Let's see how it let's see how it came out. From my field of vision, I've made a decision. I will not hold back anymore. Though the moon is crescent, I will remain present. Down every single avenue you want to explore And Mercury's in retrograde And I do believe that I have made myself As clear as I can be a body when the waters are choppy I want you to know that I'm here life is going through hard stuff but you are made of star stuff a conscious moment in billions of years I still can't see the stars at night for all the yellow city lights around Even way out here
Hello. Hi. I am feeling a little tired today. My wife had to take our daughter to the ER last night because she got a little blue bead stuck in her no in her nose. She's two she's like two and three quarters. So we were up pretty late. Uh yeah, this song, you know, I started with this idea of uh using a an instrument that that I don't normally start out on. And that's in this case the bass. The bass I play maybe write like a one song every couple months on the bass. So it's not like I never do it. But the idea is that you use an instrument you don't use very often and it kind of knocks you out of your patterns. But I sort of feel like in this song, I uh, it was the most sort of straightforward kind of song that I could have done. It's, it's, I think, the one episode in this run, too, where you'll hear me start something and throw it away, which is something that happens relatively often where I just don't like where something is going. And yeah, I've been giving some thought to 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 what to do with this feed once once these songs once I'm done. We're on episode 7. We have 3 left. But I definitely I think I think my goal will be for the next round of episodes. This will be like season 1. And then there'll be another round of episodes where we'll hear other people's processes. And I'm, I've started to reach out to folks and, uh, you know, logistically it's, it's a different kind of thing. So that's going to take a while. I don't really know when, quote unquote, season two would happen. So I'm trying to figure out what, what if anything, could go in this feed in the interim. Should I try to do a thing where I interview people? One one idea I have just in the sort of short term is a Q&A episode or like maybe a couple series of Q&A episodes. I'd love to hear any questions you might have um, about, I don't know, about anything, I guess. Um, and it'd be great if you could like just record on your phone or just record really simply uh, yourself asking a question if you have one. And if I get enough of those, I'll do I'll do a uh, I'll do a little QA. It'll be nice. It'll be fun. So thank you as ever for listening. Find me on Twitter, Song of Day Man. Love hearing from you. Shoot me an email with those questions, Jonathan at JonathanMan.net. And I'd give this song a B minus. That's how I'm feeling about this song. To be honest, it's a little blah, uh, but that's okay. Cause there's always tomorrow. I produce this show by myself in my studio. Hope you like what you heard. If you did, please spare a word or two. Leave me a review. Rating two. Tell a friend or two. I got a Patreon you could do. And I'll keep making this podcast for free We live in the attention economy So please come notice me Let's smash the patriarchy And white supremacy too Thanks for listening